Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to use the patch manager in the systems manager service in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the EC2 service, then click on launch instance and give it a name. Select a Linux AMI instance type and a key pair. I'm going to leave all the network settings to default, then expand the advanced details section and choose Amazon SSM managed instance core IAM instance profile. This will allow the systems manager to access your EC2 instance. Click on launch instance and you should see your Linux server in pending state. Next, let's create one more instance but this time we're going to choose a Windows AMI. Select an instance type and a key pair and make sure to select the same SSM managed instance profile, then hit launch. In the EC2 dashboard, we can see that our Linux server is now up and running and the Windows server is now in pending state. Next, let's head to the systems manager service and click on Fleet Manager in the left menu. Give it a few minutes for the Windows server to come up and you should see both your servers in the Managed Nodes section, which confirms that the Systems Manager has access to our EC2 servers. Let's head back to the Systems Manager service and this time click on Patch Manager in the left menu. Here, you will see two options, either to patch your servers now or to create a patch policy. I'm going to choose patch now. For patching operation, let's select scan and for instances to patch, let's select both of our instances manually. Feel free to turn the patching log storage on or off, then click on patch now. Give it a few minutes for the patching operation to complete then click on the execution ID. Here, you'll see the execution logs for both of our instances, which you can access by clicking on the output link. The output page is divided into three steps. The first one is for Windows, the second one is for Linux, and the third one is for Mac OS logs. Since we're looking at the logs for the Windows instance, we can see the step one logs populated and in the end, you can see scan found no missing updates message. Step two and step three logs are empty as expected. Now let's look at the logs for our Linux instance. This time the logs were populated in step two since it's a Linux instance. And you can also notice the option to download them on your local machine. If you head back to the patch managers dashboard, you'll notice that both of our instances are now showing up as compliant because they are both up to date and no missing patches were found. Let's click on the Create Patch Policy button so we can explore the options there as well. Give your patch policy configuration a name, then select a patch operation. Choose a baseline and the option to store logs or not. I'm going to select both my instances as targets then scroll down to the rate control option. Since I want both my instances to be patched at the same time, I'm going to choose a concurrency value of 100 with percentage of nodes. In the summary section, you can confirm the patch policy configuration. Note, the scan for the missing patches will run daily at 1 a.m. UTC. Hit create to create this patch policy. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.